Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner G Day 2. My name is Adam. So guys, today is Sunday. I went to church, prayed for everyone, and I hope and I wish you get everything you ever prayed for by the close of this year. Amen. So guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about Joseph Pinto. And I want to ask you, between Mbappe and Joseph Pinto, who is faster? You see, there is a video playing on your screen currently. I'm going to allow you to listen to the audio. But Joseph Pinto isn't happy about his rating. In fact, he was asking a teammate maybe he is faster than Mbappe. Guys, let me know if you think so down below in the comment section. Also, in today's video, we are going to talk about Abdul Fatal Ishahab. You see, Abdul Fatal Ishahab has earned himself back-to-back -back stats with Leicester City. And today, he gave an assist. I'm going to talk about some interesting facts about Abdul Fatal Ishahab and Leicester City and his growth. And Leicester City life here on Sports Corner GH. And lastly, I'm going to talk about Ernest Nyama and Leon. Things are not going really well for them. And I'm going to explain everything here on Sports Corner GH. So, guys, if you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed too, thank you very much. And may God richly bless you. Also, don't forget our giveaway in the month of October is still ongoing. Comment under this video and any other video we drop here on Sports Corner GH and stand the chance of winning yourself a free JC of your choice. So please make sure to participate. Winners from the last month have started receiving their JC. So please make sure to participate and be a winner for this month of October. So guys, quickly, let me jump into it and begin with Joseph Pinto. Now this video player on the screen was when Joseph Pinto was reacting to his ratings. He saw his rating and was like, nah, he won't understand. What kind of rating is this? Guys, watch the video and we'll come back and talk about it. Well, what is this? <laughs> Oh, come on, man. How can you do this? You give me 75, bro. I can see. What is this? Bro, maybe I'm faster than Mbappé. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 just give me, give me, give me. Bro, Patrick, what do you go that? I don't know, 78 or 77, bro. Even the goalkeeper. Even the, the goalkeeper. I never signed. It's 76. Now I thought maybe I would just take a picture with my friends, but it's not possible anymore. I think I need to hide it. Hey, I hope people you use me a lot, no? Uh, not a lot. Oh, come on, then I'm disappointed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my so god. So, guys, obviously, you watched the video, and obviously, it shows that Joseph Pizzo was just not happy. And I don't know whether he's acting or not, but this this viewer video is very funny because at a point he was even asking himself if maybe he's faster than Mbappe because on right now we know what happened to Mbappe and like he's not happy about it. And he was even asking a teammate that actually if you are playing a TV game, will you choose me and play? The guy said no. And the mom was like, Nah, I'm not having this. I'm not having this at all. So Joseph Pizzo talking to his teammates at Jack as they talk about his ratings. Honestly, most players are not happy with their ratings. I mean, what you are playing on the pitch, that is what is being, you know, given to you. So guys, don't complain. So that's Joseph Pinsel. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Joseph Pinsel and Mbappe, who is faster? Let me know down below in the comment section. So guys, moving away from Joseph Pinsel, let me touch on this very important thing. Amdo Fatani Shahako is going to be one of Ghana's biggest exports if he continues learning and allowing himself to be coached the way he is currently at Leicester City. Now, let's not forget, Abdul Fatah Ishahako has earned himself back-to-back -back stats with Leicester City as they play today against Black Bear. And today's game, he gave an assist. Now, assist aside, this is an interesting fact about Abdul Fatah Ishahako after joining Leicester City. He has given four biggest their chances, or he has created four biggest chances with Leicester City. And currently, he is the second highest player who has created more chances in that Leicester City setup. Now, he is gradually warming himself to the starting lineup. This is his second start so far for Leicester City after signing for them on loan from Sporting CP. At Sporting CP, he wasn't getting the opportunity to play. And now, I hope Sporting CP are watching the way Abdul Fatah Mishahaku is used. Because he is using his biggest strength and he's excelling at that. And he's also allowing himself to be coached. You see, Abdul Fatah Ishahaku looks like a completely different player. His dribble attempted successful is now on the higher side as compared to when he's playing for either the Black Stars or even a sporting. He is getting the opportunity. His confidence is back. This is what we need from our players, especially the young ones. Where Abdul Fatah Ishahaku is just 19 years old. And we need him to be on that top, you know, level for the Black Stars because we see him as, you know, one of those players who are going to become leaders of the Black Stars. 
So this is very important. He gave an assist today against Blackburn. Leicester won the game by four goals to one. Leicester City are doing so well in the championship. And Abdul Fattah Ishahako is it's really becoming one important player for Leicester City. The coach trusting he's also playing very good football for Leicester City. So this is very important. And this is a boost for his own morale and also his confidence. We pray against any injury on this player. Because you see, injury will just delay, uh, like derail your progress and your performance. But if you keep on performing like this on a consistent level, then a lot of teams are you know, setting their eyes on you. And who knows? He could even end up in the English Premier League if he does very well for Leicester City. So guys, this is the latest update concerning Abdul Fatal Ishahako. Now let's move on and talk about NS Nyama. Today, NS Nyama didn't start for Lyon. Lyon played against Stad Rams. NS Nyama came in the 53rd minute to replace Ryan Chucky. Now, Lyon are relegation bound. They have not won any game yet and they look like a team that is really disorganized. The reason being that they sold a lot of their good players to other teams during the transfer window. Instead of keeping most of the core team, they sold most of their players and brought in new players. Now, these new players are yet to gel with the old ones that are there and now they're also giving opportunity to players that were, you know, bench warmers for last season. They are now getting opportunity to play this season. And NS Nyama has been caught up in a team that has no teamwork, no cohesion, like there is no plan, and they are still losing games. Start games, score them 2 0 as they are the doing of this video. I know maybe it could be the same or change, it change. But NS Nyama cannot really impact games for Lyon. And I'm not going to blame him, he's very young. He can't carry the team on his shoulder. That's a lot of burden for a young player. But what I'm trying to say is, even if, if, if NS Neymar performs very well for Lyon, it won't be talked about because the team loses. You know, when the team loses con continuous like this, no matter how well maybe a player performs, nobody sees it. What you are interested in is that Charlie team, no, they are not performing well. They, they keep on losing. They are doing that. They are doing this. And right now, they are losing consistently. And the way the season is going, if they don't pick up some wins along the way, they would have to fight second half of the season battling relegation and it's very dicey when you are in that position so guys the latest on NS Nyama is that he, he came in the second half for Lyon against that revs they lost again and we hope that they can just turn things around with the new coach and everything we hope that things will change around so guys this is the latest update on three black star players let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section thanks for joining me my name is Adam also let me know between Mbappe and Joseph Penzo who is faster let me know down below in the comment section because I believe Mbappé is way faster than Joseph Pinto. I'll see you in the next video, Charlie. We go by.